All praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for the 12 tribes of Israel. And double honors to the apostles of GMS, to the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful elect. The 144,000, the brothers, the Akim, who are preaching the word of God on the four corners of this earth, risking their lives day in and day out. And Shalom to all the brothers and sisters and children who are watching these videos together. We're on another lesson, and today is uh, Saturday, I believe it's uh, June 24th, 2023. And uh, we're on part two of uh, Let's get our house in order. And the biggest fight that we're fighting is us, all right? You gotta put off the weak nature. And the fight of all fights is against ourselves. So I'm gonna go right into uh, 2 Peter 1 and 10. says therefore brother be even more diligent to make your calling and election sure for if you do these things you will never stumble all right ahead and read it out of here of this translation 2nd Peter 1 and 10 so then my brothers try even harder to make God's call and his choice of your permanent experience if you do this so you will never abandon your faith in this way you will be given the full right to enter the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai Mashiach in the ancient Hebrew. Okay? So when you live this life, you gotta go 100 with the Most High God. Okay? <clears throat> That's why if you, if you talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. brothers bring out these scriptures this is coming from the most high it's all about his son the son of man his ancient Hebrew name is Yahweh Shai this is words of encouragement to keep moving to keep fighting not to look back all right Th these are scriptures of hope okay so if you walk if you talk the talk you gotta walk the walk in this life, okay? So let's go right to, uh, we're gonna go into the Holy Book of John. Let's go to John chapter four. John chapter 4, verse 34. And Yahweh Shai said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work <clears throat> and that's coming out here and preaching the word of god to god's elect okay i'm going to read it in this translation Holy Book of John, chapter 4, 
verse. I'm going to start with uh, verse 31. The Holy Book of John, chapter 4, and verse 31. In the meantime, the disciples were begging Yahawashai, Teacher, I have some have something to eat there's a lot of times when the son of man was out there preaching he fasted because when you fast you have power over your enemies over demons that attack you a lot of people don't know a lot of people when they get into a depression they're gonna eat like a glutton they're gonna overeat throughout the day because they're in a deep depression and, when, and, and, and many men and women when they go into a deep depression they'll stop eating because they want to commit it they no longer want to be they gave up hope and they just want to leave this earth and what happens when you fast one day two days three days your body starts to get all those chemicals and demons out of your body when you fast it removes all the negativity by the third day you don't eat most people that wanted to commit it go back in their right mind and don't want to hurt themselves after three days of fasting because everything is just coming out out of your pores you're removing all negativity out of your body like my my father he's he only eats one once a day it's around four o'clock in the afternoon he fasts through the whole day and around four o'clock he makes a meal and he, he's been <clears throat> like that since he was a, a, a young man like myself I like to make two to three meals but they're small meals but like I'm saying the, the apostles they see that he wasn't eating look what, look what the son of man says this is John chapter 4 verse 31 and in, in the meantime the disciples were begging Yahawashai, teacher, have something to eat. But he answered, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. So the disciples started asking amongst themselves, could something have brought, has, could somebody have brought him some food? Verse 34, and Yahawashai says, my food Yahweh I said to them is to obey the will of the one who sent me and finish the work he gave me to do you have a saying for more four more months than the harvest but I tell you take a good look at the fields and the crops are now ripe when it was see the apostles didn't have full understanding until later the real food the healing food is the Word of God you want to re remove negativity you got to fast meditate and read and eat the word of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and that's why he says right here this is the old English translation where he's the Awashai said to them my food is to do the will of him who sent me and that's Yahweh the Heavenly Father and to finish his work and that's why he says my food Yahawashai said to them is to obey the will of the one who sent me Yahweh and to finish the work we're in a race You want to make it to the end to get the crown 
And who's gonna who's gonna give you that eternal life, that eternal crown? Yahweh Shai. All you brothers and sisters have been invited. When you started this, I don't know if it was a week ago, one month ago, six months ago, two years, three years, whenever you got into this race, it's not over. You gotta continue to fight for your life. Because all elements of this world is gonna come against you. Okay? So in the book of John 4 and 34, Yahweh Shai is saying, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. That's our purpose in life. The true purpose of this life is being in his ministry and eating the word of God every day. To preach, that's our purpose. The apostles, the prophets, the 144,000 brothers. This was our destiny right when we were born. We didn't have no under, really understanding until later in life. Now I know my purpose, the brother's purpose, all the brothers that are out there doing this work. And it's for you, the great multitude of brothers and sisters. You're in this race too. So that's our purpose, to preach even before the world was created. God's plan for us was to provide us with eternal happiness that's coming in the kingdom there won't be no more sicknesses no more depression heartaches pain sorrow that's why we're on this planet earth to preach the word of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai we're going to go into the Holy Book of Romans, chapter 15 and 4. Holy Book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of the Holy Scriptures that we may have hope. Hope. Faith. Hope. Our hope is to call out to the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, to come and rescue us from this wicked world that's ruled by serpents who poison our food, who poison the water, poison the air that come against us because we, we are trying to live a godly, righteous life through Yahweh Shai, who died for us. So it's a battle, and that's a beautiful scripture. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning. This book was written for us because we're that we're at the end of the age. This is the biggest uh, troubles, tribulations that we're facing right now is fighting the serpent every single day. And he says, for our learning that we through the patience and comfort of this holy book, of the holy scriptures, we may have hope. I'm going to read it in this translation. I'm going to start with 15. Romans chapter 15. I believe it's verse 1. To please others and not yourself. What does that mean? That we go, we come out here and we preach this word. You brothers and sisters. God says the preach the word to his people people who want to listen to this truth Romans 15 verse 1 we who are strong in the faith ought to help the weak to carry out their burdens 
we should not please ourselves. Instead, we should all please our brothers for their own good in order to build them up in the faith. And that's what we're doing. It's the word of God, the words that will build you up to fight the serpent and fight everybody that comes against you. Because once you come into this truth, every element is coming against you. Your own family members, your best friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, people that don't even know you are gonna come against you and attack you. Instead, we should all please our brothers for their own good in order to build them up in the, in, up in the faith. For Mashiach did not please himself. Instead, as the Holy Sh Scripture says, the insults were which are hurled at you have fallen on me because he was the most persecuted out of anybody that ever walked this earth he was persecuted afflicted punished kicked people spit on him and he was whipped where hook, where the uh, these hooks went into his flesh all the way, you could see his bones, you could see his ribs. So he says the insults, the abuse that he took, it was all on him. This whole ministry is, is about the Son of Man. And he took the beating. He, car he carries this ministry on his back. So what you're going through, you're going through, I know we're all going through tribulations, but it's not even close of what he went through. And he was attacked by Satan. Generals, legions of captains and lieutenants and soldiers, they attacked him. That's why there's there are scriptures that says that the, after uh, Satan attacked him, that the angels came to minister because they took all his energy. And that's why he was always fasting. And he, the, what kept him strong was reading the Holy Scrolls of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. For Mashiach did not please himself. Instead, as the scripture says, the insults which are hurled at you have fallen on me. Everything written in the Holy Scriptures was written to teach us in order that we may we might have hope through the patience and encouragement which the Holy Scriptures give us. And may God, Yahweh, the source of patience and encouragement enable you to have the same point of you among yourselves by following the example of Christ Jesus, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the ancient Hebrew, so that all of you together may praise with one voice that God, Yahweh, and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, to have hope and we're going to go into the holy book of James holy book of James chapter 1 verse 22 but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves many listen many of you watch many of you watch this as entertainment and that's why he says right here be doers of the word where he says to have that patience which is long suffering to teach 
to tell your, 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 your family members, the people that you love about this truth. Be doers of the word. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. Going back to 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. I'm going to read it in this translation. James chapter 1. I'm going to start with verse 19. Hearing and doing. Be doers of the word. Verse 19. Remember this, my dear brothers. Everyone must be quick to listen, but slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Man's anger does not achieve God's righteousness purpose. So get rid of every filthy habit and all wicked conduct. Submit yourselves to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, and accept the word that he plants in your hearts, which is able to save you. Do not deceive yourselves by just listening to his holy word. Instead, put it into practice. This is every day. Whoever listens to the word but does not put it into practice is like a man who looks in the mirror and sees himself as he is. And remember, there's people, when you change your life, people are always watching. And if you tell people that you you found this truth and then you're out doing some other things and then you're going to look like a hypocrite. And you're going to make yourself look bad. It's like if I went and started drinking and went to on the train downtown and, I, and, and people caught me in a club dancing, acting up like a fool. People would put their head down and said, this guy lost his faith and they'll lose faith, they'll lose hope. So every day I have to stand up and practice what I preach. If you talk the talk, walk the walk. And he takes a good look at himself and then goes away and at once forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks close in the perfect law and sets people free, who keeps on paying attention to it and does not simply listen and then then forgets it, but puts it but puts it into practice, that person will be blessed by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and what he does. Does anyone think that he is religious? If he does but if he does not control his tongue, his religion is worthless and he deceives himself at how you speak. If every word that comes out of your mouth is a cuss word, your mind is carnal. Speak with knowledge and wisdom. What God the Father considers to be pure and genuine religion, to be a worshiper in this, is to take care of orphans and widows and their suffering, and to keep oneself from being corrupted by this evil world. And how do you take care of the orphans and, 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 and widows? It's by preaching the word of God. This is the healing process. We're going to stay in James. We're going to jump to James chapter 4, verse 1. Where he says, Where do wars and fights come from? 
among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? warring against the flesh your lust and do not have do you not have you want to murder and covet and cannot obtain you fight and war yet you do not have it because you are because you did not ask you ask and you do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your evil pleasures. You adulterers and adulterers, do you not know that friendship with this world is enmity with the Most High God, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of this world makes himself an enemy of the Most High God, Yahweh. That's why he says right here. He said, where do all these fights and quarrels come from? They come from your desires for pleasure, which are constantly fighting within you. Like I said, your biggest enemy is you. Because that flesh wants the world. It wants to be carnal. It wants to be evil. It wants to be wicked. And the only way to fight it is by keeping your mind focused on the Word of God. That's what pushes these evil desires away from you. Which are constantly fighting within you. You want things, but you cannot have them. So you are ready to kill some, to kill. You strongly desire things, but you cannot get them. So you quarrel and fight. You do not ask, you do not have what you want because you are due, you do not ask God for it. And when you ask, you do not receive it because your motives are evil. You ask for things to use for your own pleasures. Unfaithful people, don't you know that to be the world's friend means to be the Most High God's enemy. Whoever wants to be the world's friend makes himself God's enemy. Don't think that there is no truth in the scriptures that says the spirit that God places in us is filled with ferocious desires. But the grace that God gives us, this is the grace, this word, is even stronger. As the scriptures, the Holy Scripture says, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble so humble yourself in this truth so then submit yourselves to the almighty god Yahweh. Shai. resist the devil resist satan and he will run away from you come near to god and he will come near to you wash your hands your dirty hands you sinners Purify your hearts. Purify your minds. You sinners. You hypocrites. Be sorrowful. Cry and weep. Change your laughter into crying. Your joy into gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord God, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, and He will lift you up to the heavens. Now we're going to go to 1 Corinthians. 9 and 24. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may uh, obtain it. This is a beautiful scripture. We're all running to the finish line. You're you were invited when you got into this truth. You're in the race. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, I'm going to start with verse... I'm going to start with 21. 21 and 
22. Among the weak in faith, I become weak like one of them in order to win them. So I become all things to all men that I may save some of them by whatever means possible. All this I do for the gospel's sake in order to share in its blessings. Surely you know that many runners take part in a race, but only one of them wins the prize. Run then in such a way as to win the prize. Every man, every athlete in training submits to strict discipline. And when you're in this life, discipline your your mind. How you conduct yourself, how you treat people. Be at peace and God will give you peace. In order to be crowned with the a wreath that will not last, but we do it for one that will last forever. That is why I run straight for the finish line. That is why I am like a boxer who does not waste his punches. What, what does that mean, waste your punches? Wasting punches on people that don't want to hear it. You gotta take care, you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta be, you gotta be right with yourself. You gotta be in the right mind in this truth. You gotta start with yourself because your biggest enemy is you. Don't be a hypocrite. Live this life every day. Read the word. Like I said, a lot of you will get into this race and look back and then, and then you see the world. And when you go back, you'll be consumed by these evil, wicked wolves. So don't waste your punches. Take care of yourself and take care of the people that listen to the Word of God, that wants to change their life. And don't look back. This race is not for the fastest runners. Now, if you run 26 miles, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta jog, run, jog, slow down. You gotta eat, drink water. It takes time to get to the finish line. Don't waste your punches. Don't waste your energy on wicked people. Just focus of you getting to the finish line. And that's why he said, this is why I run straight for the finish line. That is why I am like a boxer who does not waste his punches. I harden my body with blows and bring it under complete control to keep myself from being disqualified after having called others to this contest. That's beautiful because there was brothers I knew many brothers that came into this truth and got brothers into this truth and went back into the world. Like I said, I have a few thousand stories. Well, 